I just wanted to show you the difference. This is um, cultivated peanut, a typical pot. And in these two dishes here, I have what's uh, considered to be the diploid progenitor species of the cultivated peanut. So this came about because we believe that this peanut, which is diploid, and this wild peanut species, which is also diploid, came together and made the tetraploid peanut. And so if you look for the allergens, you can find one version of an allergen gene in one species and another version in the other, and then you can find both versions inside the cultivated peanut. So it's, it's uh, very interesting and very cool that the peanuts like that. And you can see quite the size difference there in those. So through traditional breeding, we have gone from a wild species that's single seeded and extremely tiny to the cultivated peanut that has two to three, sometimes even four seeds, depending on the kind of peanut it is. That's quite larger, has uh, more of all the good things that peanut can offer, but also has more allergens in them.